going guys my name is Dia and we're back on some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and I tried recording this earlier I recorded about 45 minutes worth of footage and my internet went out and it actually like, wild because it was mid recording on the game it corrupted all of that footage and then it would be me playing nothing or playing a game that doesn't exist for 45 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and re-record this basically gonna be talking about what Charlie Intel released on Twitter what they said about Call of Duty and I'm also gonna be talking about just a little bit of what my wish list is gonna look like and I have been also in my free time kind of doing the camo grind you guys can see I'm on the S a subverter all i'm missing are a couple more i'm missing about six three kills with one mag i uh, go over to my spreadsheet the only things i'm missing is that one priceless camo and then i have to level and do the camos on the gladiator and i have to level and do the camos on the bow other than that all of the camos and the for the base camos in the game for modern warfare 3 have been unlocked in terms of the modern warfare 2 weapons which is what i was working on previously i have a lot to do I was going to do the modern warfare 2 weapons however if you go over to like a modern warfare 2 weapon for example there's no prestige camo and i don't know why there's no category for it. it they said they were releasing one but in the model for three weapons there if you go over to a model for three weapon you have a weapons prestige thing so i'm gonna end up doing the model for three weapons first every, pretty much every season i'll take a break i'll come back and do these for the next one and so on and so forth so i'm really hoping to get these kind of cranked out and once i hopefully this translates into zombies because i also have a lot of borealis to do i, I only have four serpents and i camos but i'm on the final stretch for that as well i'm gonna go ahead and just jump straight back into the season three mosh pit i think the season three mosh pit's actually better than the small maps just because i like the way they flow and i think people are playing the maps aggressively for the most part when i tried to record this earlier i had a tdm match almost go to the time limit so that was fucking awesome charlie intel have actually doubled down on what they think the redacted image is if you guys haven't seen i'll go ahead and show it on the screen now but they showed an image it looks like the uh, black ops colors and everyone was thinking oh it's black ops 5 it's black ops 5 they also have sh told us like remember guys it was black ops cold war so this would technically be black ops 6 i personally don't really give a shit they could name it call of duty 95 for all i care if i like it i'm gonna play it i'm also just gonna be going over, like my wish list kind of how I want this game to kind of turn out to make me play it. I think this Call of Duty was a step in the right direction in terms of movement, weapon design, and maps. The post-content maps have been almost nothing but good. If I looked at all the maps in the game, I'd probably find a couple that I don't really like. Keep the movement. The movement in this game, if not, may I would make it a... I don't know if I'd make it a little faster or a little... I don't know, but I really like the movement in this game. I think the movement is fantastic, and I really think it helps people who want to play slow, they can play slow, but people who want to play fast, they can play fast. I'm also still playing on a controller, so if you see some, like, awkwardly weird like slow movement that's definitely going to be the reason as to why because i'm still i'm still getting adjusted to like centering and not feeling like i'm swing basically swinging something that's super heavy versus on mouse and keyboard i felt like every gun in my hand was like super light and i really felt as if i you know for lack of a better term kill anyone yeah, keep the movement and keep the keep the vibrant color scheme. with the color scheme as it is in this game like every map is pretty much nice to look at post-launch uh pre-launch like the when they brought back all the all those other maps looked nice but we i mean we'd already seen them and everyone got old of them pretty fast myself included so i'm really hoping that they fix the maps they don't give us too many redesign maps i'm hoping to get like one maybe two redesign maps that are like fan favorites i love the fact that they would try and bring out new maps i would really look forward to them but knowing that they're maps we've already seen definitely does kind of have me look forward to the game a little less Nice, okay, that's done too. Oh, that juggernaut is flanking. I see it on the map. Oh, God. The best part about the Storm Ender is 110% that it just doesn't run out of ammo and it constantly just EMPs the kill streak. Like, it can't shoot, it can't do anything. It literally is just this floating piece of metal that can't do shit. I, I have 20 kills. The next size on my fucking team has fucking five. They need to leave skill based matchmaking in ranked and stop putting it in like every single game mode. I don't understand why they feel they need to do this. Like, I don't really get why they need to. Oh, every game needs to be competitive. It's like, no, it doesn't. There's no reason for people to get good because eventually they'll get put in a game where they just crush everybody because the skill base is just so shit it's like yeah you won one game out of ten like yeah of course you're not having fun because you're just not getting better at least just stay in rank there's no point 
I have my whole lobby leaving. Stay in ranked. They, that's definitely something that needs to be done going forward. On top of that, they need to bring back round based zombies. Round based zombies need to just be a thing permanently. I don't, I don't mind them trying something new, but after like how poorly that went, they never need to change it. No optic, just three two Boston breach. I mean, not gonna lie, that was way closer than it needed to be. It's a very good game nonetheless. Optic should have won that game 3-0 with the way Boston have been playing and how good they are, but still, I mean, dub's a dub. You can't really fucking get mad at anybody for that. I'll also say that the extra attachments and the weapon balancing they've been doing, I think is phenomenal. I genuinely think it's really, really good. Ex ex one exception is the Rival 9, and it feels like when you when you have that gun, you can literally kill anyone at any point in the map ever just because of how straight it shoots and how much damage it does and how fast it shoots. But, like, that's the only gun I literally have a problem with in this game in terms of I don't think it was nerfed heavy enough, or I think that the other guns in a similar or other category just are better. Like, this lobby, the, a lot of players from the last game are in this game, and I like that. And I didn't have to hit a button. They need to keep that. Like, granted, people are probably leaving the game to play other shit and that, like, other lobbies, and that's totally fucking fine, obviously. But I'm like, what, they need to also keep, like, this. Also, with Black Ops titles, they just seem to do better than the Modern Warfare titles. Black Ops titles have always been more popular, I feel like. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4 was just hit. And even Black Ops Cold War, still, a, like, such a good game. Black Ops Cold War is one of my favorite Call of Duties today. And I think only one Modern Warfare game, only Modern Warfare games to be in my top, like, five, I guess you'd say, are the originals. Do I love, do I really like this Call of Duty? Yeah, I like it a lot. It doesn't break my top five. And a lot of people say nostalgia or whatever. No, I guarantee you it's not because I don't play those maps we played all those years ago. I don't, I willingly don't because I like the new map design. I've played the other maps. I really enjoy them and I'm all looking for something new. Now I'll go back and play them every now and then, which is something I like to have the option, but the new map design is a big W and I hope they keep it up. Vibrant map design has always just like been super nice and I hope that they keep it like that. I don't want to see blacks and whites like and beige everywhere. As soon as I looked away, as soon as I looked away, man. That should be 14. Oh, uh, it's done. Cool, it's finished. Um, I didn't save this, but I really do like this class. So I guess I'll just fucking fuck it. I'll just run around with this for the rest of the game. Also, the Jack BFB muzzle, I'm sorry. If you struggle with recoil, just slap that on with some sprint to fire attachments and you're i'm sorry but you, just, you recoil is basically gone it's so good like this muzzle is the only thing it doesn't do which if they made a version of this that does keep you off the radar like a suppressor then it would probably be the most used attachment in the game because holy fuck this thing is insane the only thing it doesn't do is keep you off the radar and most used attachment in the game by fucking far i would they probably have to what nerf more ads speed Yeah, the SOA sub- I regret not using this gun sooner. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I think this the gun feels fucking amazing. Keep skill-based and ranked. Keep these vibrant maps. I love the weapon balance. Round-based zombies is like a must for this game. I think if they try and do open-world zombies again, zombies will just be in the shitter and, it, and people won't like it. The, re the regular updates are nice. I just hope that like they don't balance a weapon kind of like how they balance the Rival 9 because that shit is insane. For a submachine gun, it is, oh my god, it's probably one of the greatest subs to hit the fucking planet. Yeah, my aim assist feels like, or my aim in general when I'm swinging any rifle, really, it feels super heavy. If anyone has, like, any settings tips as to, oh, like, I want the aim assist to stick, but not be, like, glue. If anyone has any, like, solutions to that or anything, or maybe it's just how low my sense is, let me know, because I'm, I'm gonna try some stuff. Overall, whether this Call of Duty's Black Ops 6, Black Ops 5, Black Ops 70, whatever, I'm really looking forward to it. I have so much fun every single time a Black Ops title is released, and I'm sure this will be no different. Really hyped for, they're probably gonna announce a beta or something. As soon as the game's up for pre-order, I'm just gonna pre-order it so I can play the beta, get some content out for you guys, and really just, I'm hoping this by grind year. Like, I'm gonna be putting up as many uploads as I can, and just really have fun with the game. I'm gonna go watch uh, FaZe vs. Legion while I also work on this, and I'm gonna get this video uploaded. Thank you guys for hanging out, I really do appreciate it. Uh, and if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. And yeah, Vidya signing off. Have a great day. Peace, guys.